I would have gone into churches um, and even um, different uh, religious buildings in, in this country or even other parts of the world, and you've seen in some churches a, a few letters, IHS. You've probably seen it in different places. These are the first three letters of the name of Jesus in Greek. And this became a very popular logo, you could almost say, that was popularised by St. Bernardine of Siena, whose feast day we celebrate today. At that time, in the, the 15th century, there was a lot of petty um, wars that were going on between different towns and um, different communities in Italy, in and around where St. Bernardine was. And there were some who would go and, go and fight on behalf of their town, say Florence was fighting against Siena. And Bernardine said, this is not what we're about, about these petty wars, these petty fights that happen between families. And he, he, he sort of always, almost quite contemporary in this context, that he said, okay, we need a logo that identifies who we are. And so he encouraged everybody if Jesus Christ is the focus for your life, he said, put IHS outside your house because that's a recognition to everybody you're not part of the battles and the fights that are going to go on in the streets and in the fields between different people. And it became very common in churches, it became common um, in all sorts of different places. And you go to different parts of Italy today and you see this IHS in many, many places. If you've visited, you've probably seen this before. It's even present in parts of our own country as well. But a lot of people don't realise it became popular through the preaching and the direction of St. Bernardine, the saint we celebrate today. St. Bernardine was a, a Franciscan, but he was known to preach in a very different way to the people of his time. A lot of the preachers up until that stage, priests and bishops and even popes, they would take the text of scripture and they would do quite an in-depth study of the text but it was quite disconnected from people's lives. And Bernardine said, well, no, preaching needs to actually speak to the conditions and the situation of people's life. He said, I can't ignore the fact that people are fighting in the streets. I'm going to preach about that. And so he did preach about that. In Siena at that time, there was a whole development of banks and the, and the financial systems, many of them that are based upon what we have even, um, have influenced what we have even today. And so he started to write about finance. He was the first theologian and the first saint to actually have written a theology of economics about how it's not right for people to have, for banks to rip people off. It's okay to charge interest, but they shouldn't charge such an interest that it's going to destroy a person. He said it's wrong for a bank to give people money that they know they'll never be able to repay the money and they'll end up having more debt than they had before. He said that was immoral. And so he started to guide people within the financial industry. He was aware of what was going on in and around him. So Bernardine had a love for Jesus Christ, and he wanted that to be lived out in everybody's life, but he was also very practical. And I think that's the challenge for preaching for me as well, that I don't just want to be able to be speaking about things of the past. What does this actually speak to us today? For some people... The, the logo or the thing that they hold up for, them, the sell, for, for their life these days might be their sports team. Maybe it's the Sharks. Maybe it's some other football team or, or some other sports team. I think if Bernardine was preaching today, he'd be saying what, should, what we should hold up as the most important thing in our homes and in our life should be Jesus Christ. So I think the IHS, even though perhaps it was something of the past, I think that's something... The name of Jesus should be something that we should treasure. That's the thing that really should get us up in the morning to say, that's why we're coming to Mass. It's not because of all these other things. We're Christians because of Jesus Christ, and we're going to want to live that way with Jesus Christ. So let us today pray for St. Bernardine's intercession. He's the patron, one of the patrons of Italy. Um, he was a great preacher of his time, but he was also a man of great courage, and he spoke to people in their situation of life. And Jesus speaks to us in our situation too. So in, the t in this time of, of tragedy, in this time of difficulty, we welcome Jesus into our life again, praying for healing, praying for strength, praying for that closeness of God during this time of crisis. St. Bernardine of Siena, pray for us.